Alright. See you later. I have an idea. While we're doing this, let's do, um, let's go to, um, Caverns of Time, and let's go do some Mount Hyjal. That'd be fun. Why not? Let's do it. Mount Hyjal. Mount Hyjal it is. The only thing about my, Mount Hyjal, um, if you guys remember the mechanic, if you've ever been there, Mount Hyjal is a timeless classic. It goes back. Hey, thanks, Disco Lizard, for everything. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it so much. Welcome to the family. Um, with Mount Hyjal, it's a journey into the past when the Legion first invaded. So they've got some different guys that you're going to be fighting, but it is quite fun to do. Um, I know that there's, where is the Caverns of Time? There we go. Yep. Many whelps. Call this number back and see who this is. me to the moon dude seriously okay what the hell is this he's not even flying okay welcome to buggyville so we have a way to get rid of buggies you know how we get rid of bugs we relaunch i ain't playing these games man i ain't got, I ain't got time for these wild games bro wild being stupid There you go, guys. <laughs> that was my old dog. Old dog's name. I used to love him. Alright, we're going to launch back in. Oh, come here, dude. I got you. Oh, my God. Why are you so... Why are you so umpy right now? Huh? Why are you so... What's wrong? What's wrong with you? Oh, my goodness. There he is. He's just a bud. Yeah, it's my buddy. We're I'm launching um I'm launching WoW again. Yeah. Yep. gracious yeah that the care the care run was to go a lot better than it did I'm not gonna lie it should have done a lot better but it was it was struggling so let me launch this up get that we're gonna we're, we're gonna do a Mount Hyjal um Hyjal real quick um as soon as I can get up to the guy <laughs> we're gonna run Mount Hyjal knock that out and we're gonna move on to uh, some of the Outland raids yeah. There he is. Now he's flying. See how that works? You just jump out, jump back in, and you're flying. Man, it's like, Misha, it's like you're flying. That's the Cajun coming out. Sorry. All right, let me go see what uh, with, uh, what my boy wants here, my dog. Hold on. My boy, Chewy. Come on, buddy. Go on strike for the win.
All right, everybody, we're back. <clears throat> Hope everybody's still here. All right, let's do some uh, Mount High Jaw. Mount High Jaw. It's the High Jaw Mount Place. <clears throat> That's Hills Brad. And I want to say that that one right there, that's um, the gate. Y'all remember the back gate, that one. So we're going to go over here. Yeah. It's all good. Is it this one? That's Chat Wrath. This is the black gate, right? I'll pull it up, don't worry. It's all good. I'll get this real quick. Yeah, you like the same mounts as I have. Yep. Okay. Isn't it the one from... Uh... That event called. Which event? Um, the one in Strathol. Yeah, yeah. There's one. There's one from out uh, for Strathol. We're doing Mount Hajo though. Yeah. The raid. Yeah, I got I got this one and the one right from Strathol as well. Oh yeah. They look quite similar actually. When you look Except at the entrances, the they one. look very they very look very similar. I'm just gonna double check my yeah. uh, setting. Okay, let's see what happens when you go in there with uh, 25 raid setting. That should work. <laughs> It'll work. Let's just see who gets work, though. Um, they'll probably have to. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> How's the stream looking? It's okay? Yeah, it, it looks fine to me. Cool. It can sometimes uh, blur out a bit, but it's, uh, it's normal. I, th that has to do with the with uh, my uh, my br browser, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Sometimes my stomach is just being naughty. Give me problems, huh? Yeah. It's because I haven't eaten all day yet, so I uh, starts to bo starts to bother me. Good luck, friend. It's uh, it's normal. I try to eat eat regularly. Yeah. See what happens. Come here, kill some stuff. Mount Hydra. Right. I think I'm in the right one. <laughs> but uh, now we'll go find out real quick. Open up your map for a moment before you pop in. Do what? No, too late. Never mind. <laughs> I thought if I could see it on the map where you are, you could probably I could probably tell you if you're yeah. stepping into the right one. I go to the other one. Okay, no problem. Wrong one? <laughs> I think so. This is the strat home one for uh, the story of Arthas. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. I want to do... Hold on. I'm looking on the map. No, I'm in here. Here's the battle for Mount Hajo. I'm there. Um... Oh, right. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it changed. Yeah, a little bit. Normally, you I, have I to walk to the right up the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, seriously, when you haven't done this stuff in 10 years, man, just trying to remember where everything goes. I know, right? Like, jeez. All right. We should, we should have, like, a specific, like, guidebook or something. Yeah. To oh, keep uh, everything system. memorized and stuff. Yeah. Just, just for the old people, so to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just don't have the memory for that stuff anymore. Well, the way this works is you you defend the Alliance base. I don't know why I'm on the Alliance side, but I am. You defend the Alliance base, then you move on. They come in waves, so here are the yeah. waves. Yeah, it's kind of weird, though. Yeah. It's all good. Shouldn't it be like a war area and stuff? Yeah, it's the problem is, is if you don't... 
Okay, I could run over and just kill Archer Mode right now, but I want to do the bosses. And the way you get to the bosses is by activating the waves. Because after after, yeah. after the end of the waves, the bosses show up. Yeah. With every boss, there is a way. Uh, with every uh, wave. No, see, the, see if you look at the top, you really can't see the top of the screen, but. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. It's just yeah, like. There's uh, waves of enemies, yeah. 12, 2, 2 of 8. Yeah, you have the waves, and then you have invading enemies. So as you yeah. kill each enemy, it gives you a countdown. And, mm -hmm. um, so let's see here. And technically, yeah, I stuff. think it's supposed to give me either Keepers of Time. Look, here they are. Yeah, it's Keepers of Time. I think I'm exhausted from Keepers of Time already, from just the old school. I don't think I could look. I think I'm exhausted with Keepers of Time, but... Have a, there's so many of them. It's not even a joke. Like there's a lot. Uh, I've got so many exalted already. I didn't even. I, eventually, I just stopped paying attention to it. Yeah, yeah. Target. And normally you think, oh, I'll just let these NPCs kill them. But if you run out of NPCs, then they'll they'll kill they'll kill Jada Brownborn um, behind you while you're just sitting there. So you gotta kind of clean them up a little bit. Yeah. Well, later on, she's gonna, she's gotta get this kick-ass gear, and she's like really strong and stuff. Ah, that was fun. <laughs> I think that was on the on the on the Lich King thing. Yeah. An ice crown. She just she just kicks Arthas's ass and just like. Yeah, she does. She puts him down. Yeah. Solo Mount Hydral. I haven't done Mount Hydral without a raid. I don't even know how long. It's so funny. I could I could see it I could see it happen right in front of me right now. Like, here's a lollipop. Stick it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, it's it's been crazy, man. It's been absolutely crazy. <laughs> I love it when uh, when she's just trying to save him. Because in 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 the lore, she actually has a crush on him. Yeah, she does. Well, in Warcraft three, the game, they talk about yeah. how they were they were boon to be married, really. And, yeah. and then it kind of all fell apart. Yeah. Because he became a paladin. And, yeah. um, and she wanted to become a mage, and that didn't mix. It didn't work. Well, tell you if he was going to become a paladin, he wasn't going to marry anyway, really. Yeah. Okay, and then gonna... later on, he started uh, he started betraying everybody. Boy, if only The Walking Dead was this easy, stuff. bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> just... pew, pew, pew. It, yeah. Yeah. I think there's one guy he's getting away from me there's one guy that got away one guy got past me man sucks i gotta go all over here to get to him you got another one he got past you right over there i just want to yeah i want to get this Jay, guy and here Jay, comes the last one the we'll, one, right? we'll do the boss after this here we go boss time. see here he is now on this guy you gotta be very careful because the mechanics in this fight are kind of weird okay he's gonna show up and you're thinking there's no way he can beat you and technically there's not but if i beat him fast enough well, like that but if you don't beat him fast enough and he casts the ground frost the ground frost does damage based upon percentage not a set number of hit points which yeah but it's it's so easy uh... On, on, on the actual level of the, the dungeon, you'd actually die, but now yeah. that you're way above that level, it's like it's like yeah. eating cheesecake out of a bowl. No. The damage is percentage of your total hit points. So if it hits you for 75%, percent, you, yeah, you lose 75% of your hit points. Yes, sir. Well, the hit points aren't really that much of a problem, but you, you like... 75% of my health, total you're... health? Yeah. Really? You get like... Oh my god. That's, yeah, that's that, but that's the only boss in this instance that does it based upon percentage. Now he's still not going to kill me. I'm trying to yeah, I mean, you hit him once, right? Yeah, a two shot. I did. I hit him with a regular attack, and then I hit him with Mortal Strike, and Mortal Strike kills him instantly. Well, yeah, but you're a warrior, so you're probably in, probably in need of doing that. So. Did I restart this thing? Please don't tell me I restart this thing. If I if I came if I came there with my paladin, I'd just use an auto attack and 
just like poof, gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I was doing, um, um, yeah, you just drop the AOE and be dead. It would be over. But as an arms war, a lot of my um, abilities are either cooldown or they're rage based. The only issue yeah. is to gain rage, you have to either be doing damage or you have to be having damage or hits hit on you. Yeah. This trash doesn't even hit. It's miss, 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 dodge, well, miss, miss. You can only do one thing to get the rage quicker, and that's just to uh, move back and just uh, stack up some uh, some rage by uh, intercepting him. Yeah. I think I restarted this. <laughs> it's too far away. Ooh, I can smell my. Uh... Yeah, like right now, I'd love to just AoE all these guys down, but I, I don't, I don't have the rage to really do it. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna do it for the money. <laughs> There's no money to be made here, but yeah. <laughs> yeah if I, I don't dare click loot because if I hit loot, it's like I could loot all these guys and get maybe a gold. I mean, it's not that much. But back in the day, it wasn't much to happy had. If I click this, I'll get a bunch of junk in my bag. See. Well, you can still sell it, because every much uh, when you uh, pick up the purple purple cloth, if you make bandages of those, like heavy bandages, mm -hmm. yeah. you get like five gold each. Yeah. So they do, uh, if you it have does, like it does. 10, but right stacks, now, because, because, like, because we're be. limited on bag size, one run like this could fill up a solo guy's bag so fast, he's, he's yeah. burned down with stuff. And so, do, you, do you have one bag? Uh, do you have the add-on called one bag? I have the add-on called bag on. So if I open up my bag, it just does it all in one big bag. Yeah, it all shows shows uh, shows one bag with all the slots in it. Yeah, yeah I got the same one, but mine mine's called uh, one bag. Did one guy go by me? One guy. <sighs> I'm gonna check out my. Uh, Thing, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Do that, dude. <laughs> it's all good. All right. This thing off here. I'm out of range. There's so there's so much junk on the ground that I can't even click to fight them because you are them. defenders of a doom yeah. world. Here we go. Here's Anterior. And you will Second round on this one. Lives. And he's. Oh, that's a cute end. Oh, oh, he died. Okay, anyway, so. Um, Here comes the last one. Ferocity. What? Yeah, he's dead. The last one. Okay, let's take a look. I just want to see it. Oh, he didn't drop much. Some stuff. I'm just going to it. Okay, so we, yeah. beat the, we beat the second boss. So these two are down. Now we got to do Algor. You can always sell uh, the materials on auction houses anyway. Oh, yeah. I will. It gives you way more money in the process. Absolutely. Thanks for being a problem one. You want to talk to her now? She's like, "Thanks." Proceed to the horde base. All I ever wanted was to study. Yeah, until we, we have one valuable time. Now we must pull back. Yeah, now at this point, they, she calls other people together. She's gonna evacuate the lion. We're gonna run up here, and there's a. I think there was, was there a pathway? Or does she open that up for us? I think she opens it up for us. Once she opens it up, you haul butt across the. Let's see. Yeah. I haven't seen it, seen it in this way, though. 
A lot in here has changed. A lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because this is basically the Harad Islands. Okay. Now, because you see those two towers in the back there? Yeah. The, those two towers there, they're resembling the gateway with the bridge. Yeah. That goes straight into the Harati Highlands. Yeah. Well, what we're doing is we're taking the back, the back wind pass or something. Like right here. Oh man, I don't have my miner with me. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I know, right? What a shame. What a shame. Everybody that's watching the old school, play old school on Wednesday. I appreciate everybody coming to the channel. We are still playing um, Secret Word. Nobody said it yet. The reason why I know is because I gave everybody a couple chances. Nobody knows, so nobody said anything. Um, if you donate, follow, subscribe, anything to this channel, and you don't see the alert, I do apologize. Something's wrong with my overlays. It's not up right, but uh, I will acknowledge you and also return. I refollow everybody that follows me, and anyone who is a subscriber goes to the very top of our stream. As you see, the rotating those are subscribers and our supporters. They go up at the top. Every stream, my my support team is in my stream all the time. So let's get to around this corner. Don't fall off the cliff because um, you can still die fall damage here. Yep. Unless you have a parachute. Give me that. Yeah, like one of those paperback things or whatever they are called. I want to see if I would die from fall damage, and I did. Not too much. No, no. Sure, max level. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to see if it would work. <laughs> I guess it did work. <laughs> yeah, it did. Come on, go back. Come on. Go back. Test failed. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I should be in. Let's see. Um, it's locked. See. I know it's locked, but I'm from way over here, dude. I want to see if I can get to the Elven Gate. That'd be so much faster. Sometimes he'll open it for you. Sometimes he won't. God, look at this gear. The onslaught set. I remember when the onslaught set was the bomb. Actually, there's another one, um, a red one, I believe, um, coming from the. Uh, um, oh, what was that? They, uh, you, you can find them in the cathedral, in, in that cathedral, yeah, near the uh, horde area, yeah, in the uh, plague lens. What were they called? Those red geared uh, cloth people that walked around like NPCs. Oh. oh it was said that the that that uh, cathedral uh, forged the Ashbringer. Yeah. As it was in its uh, formal glory. I don't know if you noticed what I did. Because I died. I'm now. I went through the other entrance, so instead of having to run through the whole thing, I'm coming in from the backside. Look, come behind them now. I'm trying to think, where do I go to start the next portion? I was, I was gonna say that you come in through here. Out of curiosity, it was a question to the chat here. Who has a um, alliance character? I have an alliance character, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, I bet you have one too. I have a um, an alliance hunter. Hunters are pretty nice, though. Yeah. Lotar, and Caroline, uh, what is Caroline has a has one too. Oh, cool. Caroline has a um, her her character is an alliance um, gnome mage because she thought it was cute. <laughs> She's not wrong. It's 
It's a cute little mage, so... Uh, female, I guess. Yeah, a little female, yeah, it looks like her. Like, she specifically made one to look like her. <laughs> I thought, I think about that sometimes, too, make it look like me. But it never looks like me. It's really hard to make a cat look like you, though, dude. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, maybe in body size, but, you know. Yeah. Face-wise. I'm just going to go find the guy and kill him. I'm not going to wait for them to get to me. It takes too long for them for me to wait. But if I was a mage or something, and I had, like, AoE, oh, I'd, just, I'd be away. sniping people. But all my AoE is still kind of tight in, so. What's funny is you can still mount up in waves so you can get to other points because I think they're coming from separate points. Could be, yeah. Yeah, they see they're, they're over here. They're in multiple, they come in from multiple directions on the side. So now that I've cleaned one side, i got to come on this side and clear out these guys. I wonder if everyone in the chat knows uh, what we were talking about earlier about that uh, cathedral, about the onslaught. Uh, or the, the characters that used to be called the Onslaught in, in the later games. But my, uh, my question is, what is the name of the, uh, of the uh, uh, organization that, that would you, uh, was used to be called? It's like a, a question for everyone there that, that's listening in. You mean the, the Scarlet Crusade? Yeah. yeah, that was it, the Scarlet Crusade. How, how could you ask? Questions like that. Really, I'm the emporium of useless knowledge, dude. I have. <laughs> there is nothing in this stupid game that I haven't forgotten. I was like, what? You mean that? You mean that stuff? Yeah. You know, really? they, they actually made the Ashburner uh, as it was. Yeah. Sorry. Closer. I just. Uh, what I, what, I, what made to make me curious, curious is how did they lose the weapon? And where did it where did it end up? Because I know it got uh, 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 stolen. This, this warrior uh, 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 had it because of the tales of the past, right? Yeah. So his son got extremely jealous and vengeful about it, killed his father. That was the story. Yeah. And that, and in that way, the Ashbringer got corrupted and he became a death knight. Well, this is the hardest part that I'm having to deal with right now is 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 the waves that if I have a, a wave or a mob trash that requires me to use a range attack, I have to wait till my throwing axe ability actually resets, which takes a little time. Yeah, you, can, you can also use a. Uh, you also use a what? A rifle. A gun. You don't have one. It might be better than an axe, though. As, uh, when it comes to damage, like... No, but I mean, like, my like hero what? throw ability and stuff, you know? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. But it, I, I'm not sure if axe throwing does more damage than... It's not, it's not about damage, it's about a skill that you can use. Remember, I technically I have no range ability. Like there, I, I can't hold a dagger. I don't, I don't think I have a throw ability. Do I have a throw ability? Yeah, you. It's, a, it's your auto attack, basically. No, not a warrior. Oh no, wait. Do me, uh, humor me. Open your, open your. I'm, I'm, I've got your... it open. Hold on. No, it's not there. It's in your spell book. I'm in my spell book. Ah, there it is. Alright, now let's see. Nope. Uh, there is no throw. There used to be throw in here. There used to be uh, a dagger throw click in, in here. The, uh, click on the spell book in the spell book. I am. Right, I have done right that. There. Acquired attack. Weapon skill. Um, nope. Could you move it to the left, uh, to the right one more? Uh, nope. One, one more page up. There's nothing there. There's just one page, nothing else. There's two pages. I did them both. You just haven't seen them yet. Yeah. Remember, you're about five or ten seconds behind me. Weapon so. skill, quick, quick, uh, quick and deadly. No. 
Oh, they changed that. Oh, yeah, that was we right. used to have a throw. Where yeah, throw. We could have throw. We could throw like a little dagger. If we had throwing weapon. We they took that away. We used to have. We used to be able to put something like a little dagger or whatever. We can't do that anymore. And that's really a problem because when we're trying to do this, the only thing we can do is heroic throw. It takes time. Yeah. I think heroic throw has like a what is it? Six second cooldown. That's a long time in a fight. Six, six seconds, yeah. Way too much. That's why I said, if I have to kill a Nixia on a flight, on a flight stage, we're screwed. Because we'll be there all day. Well, there are other ways to kill uh, killer on a flight stage. No, range attack only. No, actually, you can do it uh, uh, by waiting out. Just no, there's, there's no waiting out. Mm -mm, she'll just drop bombs. You have to get her down using dots and, and range attacks only to get her from flight stage down back down to the ground. You have to get her back. You gotta get her below uh, 20% from 40 to 20. Initially, if you're if you're soloing the if you're soloing it, you can just wait until she pops down on the ground and just smash I've her. I've never down. seen her pop out of flight out of flight without bringing her to 40%. Now, she'll come down eventually on her own if you're soloing and when you hit her, it brings her to one hit point. Yeah, yeah. That's what but I'm if saying. you don't get it, if you're for some reason you mess up and you don't get her out of flight. Yeah, I did it with my uh, with my paladin. My paladin doesn't have much of a range thing either. But I just use uh, um, what's that holy holy spell? Which one? Um, the one where you actually use like a couple of hands. Mm. It's not it's not called lay on hands, but another one. Um, sure. That's flash of light now. I'll get back to you on that. You'll get back to me on that one. Yeah, by the time I'm done with that, I've moved on to the next thing. <laughs> that's that's cool, but, um, you know, just to... But no, I know, I'm just picking, I'm just picking with you. You're good. <laughs> Almost done. This last guy, so this one. At least it was a very quick heal. I think it called it was called something with a, a um, flashlight or flash, flash something. <sighs> now, now I'm perturbed. Oh, there he is, Frostworm! Woohoo! Come on down, buddy. Come play with me. Frostworm's here. Hey, thanks for coming out. <laughs> that was funny. Threw an axe in his, in his head. That was great. Good stuff. Thanks for coming out, Frostworm. That's not the boss. That's one of the trashes, and it was just flying. So ho luckily, my uh, throwing axe was able to bring it down. Clearing out the trash. Is there another piece of trash? Oh, another frost one. Hey! I'll get him. Going down, buddy. You're going down. Just gotta run over here and throw this, throw this axe at him and kill him. And thanks for coming out. Okay! Invading enemy 16. Let's go find these guys. The nastiest one that I've ever fought as a boss. Is the one in Ice Ground with the scythe on uh, on his in his hands? Which one? The one that you uh, that you come across when you first enter the, the Ice Ground Citadel. Yeah, he's actually hard to do as a solo, even even on um even when you're overpowered. Because oh, the mechanics of hit that. I I hit him like one hit. He dies. Yeah, it's pretty much one hit. Yeah, it's gonna be a one hit thing. I could, I could take off all my gear and try to spank it, and I would probably still hit once. Oh, here we go. Look at this big ugly. Fun. I actually did, I actually did a raid once where everybody had no gear. I'm gonna let him hit me. I'm gonna let him there. hit me one time to see what he does. Come on, buddy. Hit me. Hit me! I'm just auto-attacking. I'm just auto- 42 damage! Oh my god. 
I'm just auto attacking him. I'm not doing anything but auto attack. My hands are up here. Good try, guy. It's coming out. The belt of seething fury. Mm. Veil stalker girl. The heart of darkness. Uh, I think that, how many hits was it? Did that take? Um, like five auto attacks. Yeah, five. Yeah. Oh, was that the 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 one on top? That was the boss. I oh, know the one on top of the, the gear thing. The it one just on clicked it away. Oh, the one on top? I don't remember. Yeah, the scroll thing. There it is. Oh. In the middle, right below the blue one. Oh, the void that up, you can sell that shit. I'm not worried about that, dude. I have to be careful how much bag space I have. I only pick up the epic yeah. stuff. Yeah, I hear you. I'm not really worried about gold either, though. So that's part of my problem. Probably. Okay. <laughs> what is it? I gotta do another round of trash to get to the next boss, and then we're gonna go do uh, the one that we all came for. Maybe Put your fist in his face. Still haven't seen anyone uh, say the magic word. <laughs> nope, no one said the word today. If someone had, they would have already known. No one has said the secret word today. I think a lot of it is because everyone just assumes it's something to do with WoW. It may not be. It could be something else. Wasn't it uh, something it's yesterday? Remember, the only clue I can tell you every time is it's always something that's in the stream. Whether it be something you see, something you hear, something in the title, something about the theme. It's something in the stream that has been on the stream, in the stream, said in the stream, or about it, and no one has said. Like yesterday, it was about vanilla. Vanilla WoW. No one said vanilla wow. Everyone was saying things like, you know. Is it the eye icon classic. that's in the middle of your uh, uh, lower, lower screen? The, the classic. No, that, icon. That's, that's Countdown to Classic. That's a podcast that is kind of sponsoring our WoW oh. uh, account right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So they, 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 they paid for my, um, my month of WoW right now. And since they did that, um, they're getting top billing on the stream, period. It's just it's just fair, you know? Yeah. Nice. I hate the doggo trash, because half of it's in flight, half of it's not. It's just, it's a pain in the butt. It's probably one of your buffs. It's one of my buffs? What do you mean, one of my buffs? Oh, you know, your buff. Like, I don't know what the warrior buff is nowadays. It all changed. It's your tavern, <laughs> which I can also see. Yeah, oh, let me get this Ross worm. Okay, Ross worm. Let's see, get close enough to use my axe. Hit the back of the butt, he's dead. Okay, cool. Where's the last enemy? Oh, really? He's flying way up here. Eventually, I'll kill him, but it will take forever. So, we just gotta get close enough to use our axe. And just... Uh, was late. Oh yeah, it's just it's you touch them, they die. Okay, this wave has only six people, so let's see how many people come up the way. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, makes sense. I'm out of range. Yeah. Don't people leave. Hey Legion guys, how's it going? Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead too. I'm just gonna take a sneak peek here in your, in your viewer list thing here. Oh, you can. I don't mind. Let's see how many are up there. I've got eight oh, viewers my brother's right still now. In there as well. Do what? My brother is also oh, here. Cool. Still. I'm out of range. Don't see Nurser anymore. Nurser is at work today. Yeah, so I should probably have to leave or something. Yeah, it happens. I'm not worried about it. Some people that I don't know. Yeah, she lives on the East Coast near Virginia. We're on the Virginia, Maryland area. West Virginia? Not West Virginia, that's totally different. Oh, yeah. 
No, seriously, they're like West Virginia and Virginia, two totally different states. They like could not be any more different. Uh, I believe there's a huge cultural divide between Virginia and West Virginia. And made me made me think of a song by uh, John Denver. I need to get closer. Um, Country Road. Yeah, it, that's why because part of uh, the word the song Country Road says the word West the words West Virginia in the chorus. Yes, I used to play it on guitar. Nice. I wouldn't be able to remember, remember how to play that ever. <laughs> Just my hands. I've got four guitars and I right. hardly play. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I just use it as a hobby to waste my money away. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's a very expensive uh, hobby. I play hand percussion, so yeah, I hear you. I've got I've got a guitar uh, called Martin. Oh, yeah. They don't build them in the, in, in the Europe anymore. You can't even if you try to find it anywhere in Europe. There's like no way. Well, the Martin, Martin guitar that's that's yeah, that's, that's pretty much an industry nowadays. standard down here. We got that's that's what a lot of good musicians are playing. The only place where you can still buy them is in the states. Yeah, pretty much. They don't. Uh, they don't seem. I, I actually got the last one that they actually sold here. In my, really? In my country. Yeah. And uh, I got very lucky with it because uh, it was uh, uh, right after I broke the one that I was playing. Oh. And uh, you know the 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 board with the circle in the middle. It shattered. It shattered. Oh man. Really? And, yeah. Uh, I was uh, on my way to the uh, to my teacher. I've been playing for ten years, and I had straps on my shoulders, right, to keep the back from falling off my shoulders. But um, the back was so old that it just flipped out of off my shoulder and landed straight uh, straight on the part of the where the strings were, and I heard it. I heard it snap. And I, at first, I thought like, okay, it's not. I got, I got protection in there, I got a book in there, so nothing can happen. And when I opened up the the, the back of my teacher's uh, living room, it, uh, it showed a hole in the side. Whoa. Of the, really? The, yeah. Clearing and, out the trash in Mount Hydral, everybody. Sorry, it just takes time. Not that I can't just run through and just kill everything, but I have to wait for it to get to me. You're doing pretty good, though. But yeah, it's uh, it was uh, not a very good day for me. Here we go. Some my guitars actually, my arch, my, my my guitars. I see them as soul, basically, because yeah, you know, you put your love and your energy into into an instrument, and it's something something breaks, and something yep. literally breaks in you. So it's like. Sure. It's like a connection thing for me. Yeah. The weird part was is that I had to uh, go somewhere in the middle of the Netherlands to actually make uh, to make uh, to make fix. Really? Yeah. It was like two, three hour drive. Wow. Yeah. It was really that, there's a great there's a great mu musical instrument shop just like five minutes from my house. There's a, a place. Oh, if I ever, ever get to the states, I'll, I'll try and look it up. Well, well, it's like okay, so like there, there's a guitar center like right now. Guitar center is kind of the thing. If you just want to go look at a bunch of different guitars, you can go to guitar center. Pretty much all over the major cities. It's about five minutes yeah. from my house. I go in there, and they have an acoustic room, and they've got a wall full of Martins and a wall. I mean, you just play anything. I mean ukuleles, mandolins, um, yeah. acoustic basses, acoustic guitar, so I mean, cool. just play anything you want. Then you go out yeah. into the main floor and they got everything from $100 little starter guitars all the way up to $4,000 strats and everything yeah. you want to play in between, so, yeah. yeah. And the funny part is, I'm a left-hander, so I play everything left-handed. They have stuff that's left-handed too, so. Yes, that's so cool, because then I'd probably go there and buy my strings. 
I, I use very, very thin strings. Boss fight! Come on, fat boy. Come on! There will be no escape. We're doing uh, the second to last boss of Mahajo. We can do auto attacks. Let's see how long it takes to kill him. Just doing auto attacks. Hands off. Just auto attack. Come on. Four. That reminds me of. Five hits. Okay, not bad. Um, do you know that um, that that elf that betrayed um, what's his name? He's now a demon hunter. Illidan? Illidan, yeah. No, he doesn't look like yeah. Illidan. He the, looks like, um... No, he, he doesn't, but... This, he looks like Mag. It's the same. Yeah, he, he, he looks kind of the same, only smaller. Well, you know, um, Magtheron, he looks like him, of course. Here we go. Archimode's yelling. We gotta go, we gotta go uh, punch Archimode in his face. That's what we came here for, is to beat Archimode, so... The Queen of the Night Elves? I don't know. Call her name. What was oh, her name? Here is an elf. Never trust an elf. Yeah, never trust an elf. <laughs> never trust an elf. They're sexy and all that, but that's pretty much all there is. That's just disturbing. Yeah. Oh, tar, friend. What Peace. is it you wish? Okay, so now we get to go. Yep. We're gonna go uh, put our uh, sword in um, in his face, Archimode. Then again, you could say the same thing about blood elves. It's all the same to me. I don't really care for either race, really. That's his racial. Although thing. I do believe that the the blood elves look a little bit more youthful than the than than the night elves. I think it's just a matter of uh, one's the moon well, one's the sun well. So classically, I've always thought that it should have been reversed. I thought that the sun well elves should have been alliance, and the night elves should have been um, horde. Now a lot of people say, "Well, this is stupid." Okay, whatever. But I'm just saying that's what I've always thought. It just seemed, you know. But you know, the lore, the lore is what it is. You know? Well, when the Sun Reaver guy developed the Sunwell, and but see, the thing about it is, people don't realize that the Sunwell was corrupted. They, they were lied to. Um, mm -hmm. It was actually Jaden's power that was in the Sunwell. They thought it was. Ah, uh, um, oh, damn it! I did it again. <laughs> what, what happened? You'll see. You'll see it in about five seconds. Don't laugh so much. <laughs> I was talking. I was talking and... <laughs> wait. The thing about it is, is like, people could be like, so wait a minute, did you, uh... Did the boss kill you? No, dude, I, I ran off a cliff. I was just running and ran off a cliff, so... This kind of stuff. He felt, he felt like he didn't live, want to live anymore, and he just noticed he just, it right when he gets flat on the ground. He, he just couldn't. He just couldn't take it anymore. He, he's done. Yeah. The stress was too much. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't handle it, man. He just he lost it. He lost it, and that was it. Man. This is the end of it. So we're gonna now we got to do this slow ground mount run out to. Um... See, that's the thing I don't understand. Like. I was trying to get people that have that have never played like vanilla WoW. I don't think they realize that, man. This kind of mount that I have, only the best of the best had a mount like this, where the mount speed was a hundred. Oh God, that was like you had to you had to have epic riding ability, which was a hundred gold. Which back in the day, getting a hundred gold, that take months, man, to get that kind of gold. You weren't yeah. making gold like that. Yeah, that's a, in, in back in the day when Vanilla that took ages. Oh yeah, that's why that's why people always said like, oh, I'm gonna sell all my shit. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm just gonna sell it. Why is it bringing me back to the hoarding cabin? That's so bothering me. Hold on. It shouldn't be bringing me to the hoarding cabin. Well, if it. If it gets you frustrated, you can always run off a cliff. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> it's, it's true, though. What's his name, Cliff Runner? What's his Indian name? Yeah. Falls from Cliff. Okay, great. <laughs> Falls from Cliff. <laughs> can I see this right here? She gives you the Tears of the Goddess. Uh -huh, now, yeah. technically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take this tear, Tears of the Goddess, right here. And you're supposed to put this, like, right on your, um, on your, your, your tab. 
somewhere where you can get to it, okay? Because technically Archimo does this skill where he throws everybody up into the air, like really high up in the air. And yeah. if you don't hit the series of a loon, I've already proven that I will die if I fall from high from a high place. So, but that'll happen to you again if you don't use tears. I don't right. think he's gonna live long enough for the tears to be needed. Mm -hmm. But we shall see. I'm well, sorry. it depends on the warrior's um, maximum health. Well, it depends. If you, like if I fall for more than a hundred yards, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. Hundred yards, you're gonna die. die. The only person that survives a 100 yard fall is a mage with slow fall or the um, demon hunter. Demon hunters automatically have a glide all the time. It yeah. sucks. They just send out their wings and they're good. Uh, in my case, with my paladin, if I hit the ground, I'd still be alive. Yeah, I hear you. All right. But that's, be that's because I have uh, 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 a healing spell where I can actually move. All right. Let's get let's get real with this, okay? But let's let's. Let's get this real, okay? All right. Is it this guy? Yeah, this is Archimo, dude. This is the lead guy for this one. Okay. Cranked up my, cranked my sound. We gotta hear this right, okay? This is the fight against Archimo, everyone. We have worked in my Hodge all to get to this guy. Don't worry, we're gonna do some other ones. I'm not worried about it. We're just, I wanna make this very dramatic. Um, he, back in the day, his fight was very intense. It had a, a mechanic. He had a ground splash that would put lightning in the ground. You had to step away from it. He had a throw up in the air that you didn't use this particular uh, uh, no, this use item right here. You, you wouldn't be able to slow fall. You'd die from ground hit. Um, haven't I don't I've never soloed him actually, uh, but I know it's easy to do. So I'm just gonna go in here. We're gonna fight the guy. Um, I'm thinking we're just gonna let's yeah. He's he's gonna talk. Your resistance is insignificant. Yeah. I'm just gonna think a little bit. Because I really, really, really like what he says. He says some cool stuff. Like, this is me dying. I've never heard, heard him. Uh, heard Mortal Strike, he's probably gonna be dead. Yeah. No, this is him freaking out because he's dying. He's going into his other phase real quick, but see, he's dead. But this is the phase, the fire phase. He's gotta go phase two. During this phase, you just kind of run away from him and stay out of the flame on the ground. Stay away from his lightning. The lightning is the one shot. Back in the day, it was one shot. But he's just, he's kind of dying now. Once he gets past the stage, I'm going to take this uh, axe. I'm just going to throw it, hit him in the face with it. And um, that should take him out. And then there he goes. <laughs> so, and you're like, here, take an axe to the face. <laughs> and then he dies. So he dies like William Shatner, dude. It's great. That'd be so funny. If he's just hit him in the face. Now he, here's the he best part. Something. You see these shoulder blades right here? Mm -hmm. Everybody begged for Blizzard to make shoulder blades that look like his. So you could pick them up and wear them. They never did. Alright. Now back in the day. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Oh, Cataclysm Edge. Oh, my God. That's awesome. That was his sword. Um, Everyone used to get these helms of Forgotten Protector, oh, Forgotten shit. Vanquisher. Everything. You go oh, and turn yeah, into your tier gear, huh? That's a good sword. It looks good. It looks good. Is it two-hander? It is, which means I can transmog that thing. Yeah, do it. I am. Awesome. Sweet. Now, if you wanted to do transmogs on your different stuff, the only way is to run these. Um, turn in the helm and get the helm. Let's take a look at what it looks like for our little sword guy. So we're going to take out... Let me move my back out of the way. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here's here's Dana. Here's his regular sword. Let's let's equip the Cataclysm Edge and see what it looks like. I like it. I, I actually had this two-handed sword on Dana about eight years ago. And I ran around with this sword him. Now here's the best part. Back in the day when you used to enchant swords and stuff, you used to give like a glow. I had this one with the um, with the mongoose, I think, and it would put like this purple aura over it. I thought it was really cool, but let's be honest, it's not as good as that. Okay, so we're gonna take this Cataclysm Edge, put it in our in our transmog because I want to be able to use that later. We're gonna you take all of these helms of the protectors. Um, I'm gonna use it real quick. I want to see what it does. 
That was the Onslaught helm. Let's see. It looks like... Well, he's wearing it. So right now I'm wearing... Uh, looks like the on. Where, where is it at? Here's the Onslaught helm. I love this thing. It looked like a snowplow front on a... Yeah, that was some good stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a cat with, uh, with, with small ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got two of those Onslaught helms. I'll wind up selling them. I don't care. I'm going to put my other one back on. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is... People ask me, so why do you do these runs? I mean, what's the point of doing these runs? Uh, this is the reason why. Because this stuff is fun. Okay, Dollar Run. We're going to go back to Dollar Run now. Uh, got a couple more. Uh, we're going to do a couple more. Let's let's take a look. What's the next one? Um, one of your Outlands, right? Uh, Gruul's Lair? Yeah, let's we'll hit Gruul's Lair real quick because we can fly, and then after Gruul's Lair, we got um, Black Temple and Sunwell Plateau. So let's. I think the big thing for me is I don't know how to get to. Um, oh. I really gotta do something about my push to talk button because this is not a very nice way to push my buttons. All right. So good news. Um, bad news and good news. The bad news was I actually lost my um, my washer and dryer died. My washer and dryer died the other day. But best by delivering my new one here in just few in just a few minutes. So when that happens, um. They're going to be delivering my washing and dryer. I'm going to let them do that while I'm, we're going to keep playing. Screw those people. They can come in here and do work while I'm, while I'm, while I'm playing WoW. <laughs> yeah. I play, I'm, no, no, no. I'm I paid already. 250 bucks an American. These guys can take my washer and dryer out, put the new one in, test it, and load my first load of laundry is what I'm saying. Well, you could always ask them to resurrect your old one and sell it. <laughs> okay, where's shut? Where's... Sh where's Oh, I, I messed up. I gotta go to chat now. Okay. Could be, could be funny seeing those guys, like paladins, standing around the washing machine and just resurrecting it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you you've seen um you've seen the new uh, Bat Metal cartoon, right? The new one, where they try to resurrect. No, I have not. Oh, dude, I the new one's not, great. No. They're trying to resurrect the Joker. Yeah. So he's going around. Batman's going around trying to figure out a way to res him, and he comes up to the. Uh, to the healer on Fortnite, uh, not on Fortnite, on uh, Overwatch, and he was like, you know, can you do this? And she reses a character, and he's like, can you res him? And she's like, yeah, and then she gets hit with an arrow in the face, <laughs> so she dies. <laughs> so she can't res him? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Typical, typical... You gotta uh, shoot me that, uh, you gotta shoot me that link sometime. Oh, that, shoot the link, I'll put it in chat, I don't care. I'll probably lose viewers if I did. No, I'll, um, I'll, um, I'll post it in my Discord. Yeah, do that. You got the time. Just finish whatever you're doing and uh, do whatever okay. you It's fine. Violet Proto Drake, Y because we're playing old school WoW. Violet Proto Drake to fly in Hell in, in uh, Burning Crusade. This is my favorite mount of all time. Because, not because it's pink or because it's the prettiest. No, no, no. This is my favorite mount for one reason and one reason only. It took me two years to get this damn thing. Really? You know how long that took me? How long? A week. You can't get it in a week. What? You oh can't. no, it's not the. It's not. Oh, it's not this one. Okay, oh, never mind. No, this uh, this is the violet. This is the violet protege. Yeah, the I got the. Can... I got the blue one. Yeah, yeah, the blue one takes about a week. I have that one too. But the the reason why I, I love this one so much is because it literally took me two years to get it. Yeah, it takes quite a while. All those, um, and the thing about it is, technically, anybody can get it. It's not that hard. You just have everything set. Okay, okay while he's flying to Gruul's Lair, I gotta go grab something real quick. It's gonna take a little bit to get there, but Gruul's Lair is right there. You know, even, even the blue things look, looks a little weird, but now that I look at this one, it makes me, it feels creepy. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me move something, and I'm gonna be right back.
I, I, oh, I just had to open the door. Got to open the door for my uh, for my guys to come give me my stuff. All right, so Girls Lair. Let's do some Girls Lair. We may do Mags right after that because it's on the way to Shadow uh, Temple. We're gonna get all these ones in Shadow uh, in um, in uh, Blasted Lands and I'm um, not sorry, Blasted Lands. It's stupid. In um, Outland, we're gonna get the ones, all the ones in Outland done while we're here because when we go to the Sunwell, we gotta go back to Azeroth to go to Sunwell. So. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, Rose Lair. This is going to be fast. I'm going to run in, punch the crap out of the, the sub boss, walk right up to him, and stick the sword right in his eye and walk out. Like a boss. I would literally do a sword drop, but I kind of need that one. It's my favorite one, so I got to keep it. You know what I just realized, dude? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You know what I just realized? Um, um, I just realized why these guys who do all this... um these caustic runs for gold and stuff why they need all the gold because all the transmogs they have to do after they find all the gear that they miss because they want to look like you know because i would love to go in get all of the the t3 molten core gear and just transmog everything into it and just walk around like a level tier three tank it just looks stupid but it, it, would, it would be funny but though, the amount of gold you have to spend on that you would need the gold from these runs to do it yeah well, you can always ask uh, 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 Blizzard to be your Twitch partner. <laughs> you get gold for free. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an ass. It's funny, though. It's great. Don't ever change. Oh, never in my whole life. Okay, I got I'll, probably, I'll probably die like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is a boss? I'm sorry? <laughs> He is? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was the boss. Oh, he polymorphed me. You son of a. <laughs> I love it when he does that. And he's gone. Oh, dude, just die already. Okay, let's ra let's let's loot the boss. Okay. Oh wait, did I get one? That, that's warlock. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. The longer you wait, the, the more chances of polymorphing you get, right? Wait, what? If you, if you get if you get polymorphed again, you have to wait uh, like twenty seconds or so. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Something like that. Twenty seconds or fifteen. All I know is check out this. Now this right here was one of my favorite pieces of gear ever in this game. Period. When I got this piece of gear, I wore this gear all the way through Burning Crusade, and when I replaced it, I was really upset. Luckily, at the same time, that was during Lich King and everything, when they started doing Transmorgs, and I was able to keep this particular gear, the Pauldrons of the Fallen Defender. I love these things. They were so wicked looking. The horns and the evil giant frog looking mouths and stuff. I love these things. Look at them. Yeah, they look really nasty. <laughs> they did. They did look nasty. Don't get me wrong, I like mine too. But you know what I found out? Okay, Burning Crusade, they, did, they didn't do a lot of uh, new skin development. They should have, because it was the first one, but they didn't. And I found out that they came, they did a lot more new skins on gear with Lich King. That's when they started to get a little crazy with the stuff, where you'd see tanks running around with shoulders, like, over the top of their heads and shit. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, there's still a few uh, Tier 2 ones. Yeah, true. Excuse uh, me, guys. Just gonna walk on through. They have a like. They have. You can. You can actually get them in Onyxia's lair. In. Um, yeah. Uh, Ragnarok's lair. Yep. The king thing. And if you get them. All right. All, so let's stab you... Gruul in the face. Okay. So should I, I charge him and just kill him, or should I just just do the auto attack and see how long it takes to auto attack him? 
Because if I charge him in Mortal Strike, it's going to kill him. Just just make it fun. It's, it should be cool. I don't know, that was pretty fun. <laughs> just let him spank himself to death. <laughs> so I don't know, that was pretty fun. I should have... What I, what I should have done was... um. God, all of this crap gear. Yeah, so we sell these for 54 gold to pop. They're not that bad. Okay, so I'm going to do these pants. Fallen Defender pants, because as we can. Just for the transmog later. Move this down. Sell the rest. Of okay, so that, that, was, that was our boy, um, Grohl. So now that we've done Grill, yeah, he was easy. Um, we're going to run out. Uh, the next one we want to do that's close to us. Um, shoot. Um, let's do Mags on the way to Black Temple. And then after Black Temple, we do Sunwell. And we'll see where we're at after Sunwell. If we have to continue old school raid to the uh, following day or whatever, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. I mean, we're, we're, we're going to do them all. Besides... Okay, every Wednesday, every Wednesday is old school day. So we go back and do old stuff pretty much every Wednesday anyway. It may not even be in this game. We might. I'm going to start doing some old school school stuff. I got my capture card for my PlayStation and my Nintendo, and I'm not talking about a Switch, and I'm not talking about a PS4. I'm talking about PlayStation with a 1 and Nintendo NES 8-bit. And I have all my cartridges. We're going to play some Legend of Zelda. We're going to play some Metroid. We're going to play some crazy old school games because we can. This is the old school stream. we got to do it. We'll do it today because we got to set all that stuff up. But when once we get it set, we're going to do it. Violet Proto J. Okay, so let's go up. We're going to go to Mags. I don't even think I've fought Mags in a raid. I don't think I've ever beaten Mags. This might actually be an achievement for me. Don't say nothing. Jesus, that would be horrible. Actually, Mags. Uh, those maggots things Metron. they can easily uh, they can kill it easily those things okay it's like slicing through butter <laughs> yeah battle pet tamers what the hell do I have this for anyway so we're going to a hellfire citadel we're going to hit mags real quick Take a little bit to fly to him. Now, what's really kind of cool is if someone's trying to collect mounts, there's a set of mounts you can get down in um, uh, in the island that's just south of Shadow Moon Valley where you get those uh, nether drakes. Have you ever seen the nether drakes? Yep. I got one, actually. Yeah, I've got four. <laughs> we were there so long, Shut I got all of them. I got all of them, man. I had to. I didn't have anything else to go. I, our, our guild wasn't raiding, okay? Our guild had raided in, in a few weeks. Uh, a few months, actually, because we were, we were short. Oh, basically, what you're saying is... Uh, I got bored. You and I farm like, dragons, yeah. Yeah, you farm dragons. <laughs> so, so that's what you did. When you, when you run out of things to do in an expansion and you're bored because your guild won't raid anymore or they're, they're, they don't have a healer that's worth a damn, you just go find stuff to do. And one of the things we did was we would Go collect dragons. Doesn't mean we're bad people, as we just, <laughs> just collected dragons. Okay, here we are. Hellfire Good Peninsula. Christmas. Yeah. There's a throne of killed Jaden. We should walk over there and beat him. He's a little boss. Why not? <laughs> okay, now, wherever we are with mags and whatever. Once we get started in this and we get done with Max, at some point, Home Depot is going to show up. I'm sorry, Lowe's. Lowe's is going to show up. Uh, no, Best Buy. What the hell? I don't even know who's bringing stuff to my house. Okay. So at some point, Best Buy, they're, those are going to show up. When they show up, i got to let them in the house. But I'm, we're going to keep running. i just got to let them in the house and stuff, so just bear with me. You know what I've always wanted to do? Straight up, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do this. I've never gotten to do it. Oh, yes. That was so satisfying. Oh, my God. You have no idea how satisfying that was. <sighs> well, hitting, hitting that fellow here. Dude, back in back in Burning Crusade, we avoided that dude like the plague. You didn't go anywhere near that guy. Because if you did, 
you'd get killed, right? True. So, I mean, that was, like, like huge. I mean, and being able to do that, just me poning him in the face, one shot, that was, it was needed. I needed that. Mm -hmm. Set up, make sure my uh, raid difficulty is set. I had a guy like that, too, in my guild. He said, he, he said something like, killing a fell reaver on a, on a massive high level is like, yeah. um, it's like, uh, I have seen I, I've seen people, some hunters, kite one back to the town, so the NPCs will kill it for them. Yeah, that was some good stuff, man. That would that was the way we used to do that back in the day. It's not possible anymore, though. <laughs> well, now if you try to kite him, you shoot him and he dies. There's there's no. Uh, not only that, even if you if you, if you get just kite him all the way up there, he'd still get damaged. Yeah, 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 for sure. It wouldn't matter, no matter where. Yeah. Uh... I wonder if I'm supposed to clear the trash or if the trash just stays up. Because if it all comes down, it's really not gonna matter. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Oh yeah. Tell your mama I said hi. Okay, there you go. Alright, let's see here. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, we gotta kill these guys to release him. I remember that now. He's dead. And this one's dead. And this guy's dead. And this one's dead. Okay, here he goes. Come on, Mags! Let's fight, dude. I'm just gonna auto-attack you. Come on. Oh! Dude, you're doing 45 damage a hit. You're a man. Come on. Be the big dog. Come on. Be the big dog. You will, he, he says, I will not take him so easily. Dude. This is the part where he does his thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to kill all of them. This is the win phase for him. Okay. I'm going to execute you. You're dead. All right. Yay. Thanks for coming out. Oh, all right. Try. Okay, Max is dead. Fat loot time. Um, um. Yeah, you could tell I've never done this because I lose his head. Um. There it is, the defender one. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just the way he said it was funny. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming out, buddy. Uh, sack of gems. We'll do the sack of gems. Or as we fall to his family jewels. <laughs> Makes me think of dirty stuff. Yeah. Could be could be anything in there. Yeah, look at this. Better return, not stick return, your hand in there. Return Mag's head to uh, Nazgril in Thralmar in Hellfire Peninsula for this amazing sigil, signet of defense. Level 125. This ring would give plus 17 stamina, 9 dodge, and five versatility to, to the wear. This was an epic raiding ring for a tank. This is a piece of crap. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, next. Um, this is the chest plate of the defender. 